Mitsubishi Pajero of the fourth generation, 2006-2018 years of release. Good day if you are wondering is it worth buying a fourth generation Mitsubishi Pajero and what problems you may encounter during operation, then you are at the right place. So the Pajero body is painted well, thanks to which there are still no serious foci of corrosion even on the oldest copies. Before buying it's worth paying attention only to doorways. The Japanese chose not the best material for the door seal. In the cold it dubs and when opening and closing the doors begins to wipe the paintwork. Of course it's hardly worth repainting doorways because of this. It can be limited to glue in a transparent protective film. Surprisingly it's not the body that suffers more from corrosion but the fuel tank. You can find specimens that upset with a rusty tank at very low mileage. The problem can be solved only by replacing the tank with a new one. Considering the cost of the original part it will cost quite a lot, about 60,000 rubles. You can try to find the fuel tank on disassembly, but there is no guarantee that it will be in the best condition. The interior of the Mitsubishi Pajero looked good in the 2000s, but by now it already seems out outdated. The materials are also matched. Selling plastic is frankly inexpensive, but at the same time very very resistant. Nor is the leather on the steering wheel impressive. It's already overwritten by a run of 40 50,000 km. The same can be said for the leather upholstery of the seats. It's no surprise that many Pajero owners opt for the version with the plain fabric seats, which look much better than cheap worn leather as mileage increases. Another disadvantage of the Japanese SUV that you have to put up with is that the hard plastic interior creaks more and more over time. Electrician Pajero doesn't cause problems. If something breaks down, then this is more an isolated case than a consequence of an ill-conceived design. Whoever said anything, the diesel engine is the best suited for the Pajero. With it, the Japanese SUV is commendably economical and at the same time, given the weight and dimensions of the car, it's quite dynamic, if you follow the service times recommended by the regulations and do not save on the quality of consumables, then the diesel power unit will not cause problems for a very long time. Another prerequisite for trouble-free operation is not to refuel at questionable gas stations. Poor fuel quickly destroys the injection pump injectors, each of which costs at least 20,000 rubles. Replacing the injection pump will cost even more, about 50,000 rubles. There were two gasoline engines for Pajero, 3.0 and 3.8 liters. The latter unit is noticeably more powerful than a 3 liter engine but loses to it in terms of reliability. Intake manifold flap collapse is a common problem with a 3.8 liter engine. Moreover, it's not the destruction of the damper itself that is scary, but the fact that its pieces are drawn into the cylinders. As a result, piston repairs cost 150 to 100,000 rubles. In addition, cases of cranking of the liners were recorded on the older motor. According to the owners, this happened for no apparent reason. The basic 3.0 liter gasoline engine, although weaker, is much more reliable thanks to a design originally from the 80s. The 5 speed automatic of the Japanese SUV is also quite archaic in the design. And this also has a positive effect on reliability. Although without care and proper maintenance, even an unpretentious box on the whole will not last long. The gear oil change interval should be reduced from the manufacturer's recommended 90,000 km to 60,000 km. The condition of the gearbox cooling pipe will have to be checked even earlier. Often it decays to a run of 60,000 km. You will have to change the pipe at the same time as the box radiator. In this case you will not be able to save money. In case of overheating of the machine or the power unit, you will have to spend incomparable more for repairs. It's not worth saving on the maintenance of the rear gearbox, which requires changing the technical fluid every 45,000 km. It's interesting that even on cars without mileage, the gearbox can make an increased noise during operation. This is not a malfunction. You should not immediately panic even if the box malfunction signal light comes on. It's possible that the panic connector on the transfer case is to blame for this. After it is cleaned or replaced, the problem should be resolved. The Mitsubishi Pajero brake system requires service at every service. Cleaning and lubricating the calipers is the minimum required. Over time, the brake pads may start to rattle when driving over bumps. This problem can be solved by installing stiffer springs and plates from the previous generation Pajero. There are only a few weak points in the suspension of a Japanese SUV. But speaking about the chassis, the owners most often mention not about them but about rust. Sour bolts and fasteners on Pajero are not uncommon, which is why replacing a penny part can take an indefinite period. The cost of such repairs is also unpredictable. 
For example, soured breakup bolts will require replacing the silent blocks and lever assembly. As a result, only the cost of paying for the replacement work will amount to at least 10,000 rubles. Fortunately, these problems can be avoided. It's enough to carry out prophylaxis of threaded connections at each maintenance. Of course, you will have to pay extra for unplanned work regulations, but in the end, such caring for the car will still result in significant savings. The force but Mitsubishi Pajero can hardly be called a modern car. Those car enthusiasts who do not drive off smooth asphalt simply do not need such a car. For everyone else, Pajero is an ideal option for every day, including thanks to its proprietary super select transmission which doesn't force the owner to think about which mode to choose here and now. By and large, super select does everything by itself, automatically adjusting the operation of all vehicle systems for a variety of driving conditions. Pajero owners are not aware of the problem with finding spare parts. The car was sold all over the world in huge circulations, thanks to which a huge number of both official parts and high-quality substitutes were produced for it. If you are the owner, then be sure to leave a comment about this car. Your review will definitely help others with the choice of a car.